he does. Uh, I want to keep you both here and turn to a related question, uh, but on the local politics, we talked about what Biden's got to do. Let's be clear. Joe Biden has been getting good marks on handling COVID, according to the scientific experts. By contrast, the Florida governor from basically the MAGA party, Ron DeSantis, showing little interest in trying to get vaccination rates up, and there's surging infections there. So our panel stays, but we want to show you the latest. He's opening the Citrus Bowl football stadium, but it's not for vaccinations, which we've seen in other states. It's actually now a place where people can go for treatment after getting COVID, kind of a reactive emphasis. Officials offering treatments to hundreds of people daily who would be sick with COVID. DeSantis doing this while, again, let's be clear, this might be an emergency measure, call it what you want, but the context is this MAGA governor is doing this instead of making a vaccine push or working with local schools on masks, like we were just discussing, and doing other things that the doctors say prevent people in Florida from getting sick in the first place. Early treatment with these monoclonal antibodies, Regeneron and others, uh, have proven to radically reduce the chance that somebody ends up being hospitalized. And at the end of the day, you know, reducing hospital admissions uh, is is got to be a top priority. And it it may be a priority. We should note that the number of people rushing to the hospital in Florida is breaking records. It's one of the highest in the whole country. It's triple the national average. It's lower also than the average vaccination rate. Meanwhile, 5,000 plus students, hundreds of employees in a single Florida school district testing positive for COVID or exposed to the virus, and they are quarantining. So that's the facts and the context for people around the country who may not have their eye on Florida. Um, I go to you first, uh, David. What do you think about that? Well, listen, he's a hero of the MAGA base today. If he runs for president, maybe he still will be uh, in 23 and 24. And so maybe he's able to be a front runner for the nomination with that record. I would love to run against this guy in a general election. You're running to be president of the United States. Uh, and you now have his resume is essentially how he handled the pandemic, uh, which is a disaster. And it's going to get worse every day. What we knew was going to happen is unfolding in states like Florida and Texas and others, uh, where you see as schools reopen, uh, they're closing down right away. Uh, and a lot of people getting sick. Their hospitals are overwhelmed. By the way, you know they like to talk about how they're now the party for working people. OK, teachers, nurses, uh, doctors, all anybody in the medical field uh, has been put through hell because of the irresponsibility here. I'd say another thing about the culture wars, which DeSantis, you know, claims to be a master of in general. Nobody thinks Republic. Nobody thinks Republicans are better messengers than a lot of Democratic actors. But let's just remember. 2020 was all about how there was going to be MSN thir MS-13 in, in the suburbs, uh, and the suburbs were going to go. Didn't work for Trump. 18 was the caravans. Didn't work. I went through in 2012, you know, Obama phones and food stamps. And a lot of this stuff that everybody thinks they're being brilliant hasn't worked. So, again, but you have the, the, the gate to get through a Republican primary, Congress, Senate, President in 24, is completely disconnected from the center of the electorate. And in all of these battleground states uh, in 2024, uh, it is going to be a searing memory uh, what uh, happened with the pandemic. And you've got 70 to 80 percent of the people vaccinated in those battleground states. You've got 70, 80 percent of the people being responsible about things like wearing masks again. So I think somebody like DeSantis may still have strong pedigree with that MAGA base. Uh, but again, the gate to get through a general election victory, I think, in 24 uh, is very different yeah. than getting through a Republican primary. I'm running over on time, but Che, in 30 seconds, is DeSantis cooking or, or is he cooking his own goose? I think Ron DeSantis has done the impossible. He makes Donald Trump look smart, competent, and empathetic. He's been an absolute disaster. The MAGA governor, the successor to Trump. You know, if you're Donald Trump sitting in Mar-a-Lago, you're not really worried about a primary with this guy. He, he's, he's simply not up to it. <laughs> Very interesting way to put it. He is he is famously described as the mini the mini me of of Donald Trump, uh, or as Drake famously said to his imitators, the big you is like a mini me, uh, and this may be a mini me that, as both of you point out, has political problems. More importantly, as we've covered, we hope that they deal with the humanitarian problems. Uh, we don't care whether Florida is red, blue, or what you color it. Uh, the people need help down there. But we've talked about many of the aspects of this today. So thanks to Che and David.